Bam. Yeah, let's go for a fiver, Mickey. I've got mango. Lovely mango. Yes, see, just great. Yeah, three pound a pound. You have a taste before you buy. Three pound a pound, you great. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Here we go. They're lovely night. Five pounds of rock off the bottom here a pound. I've got Carly Malone coming down so I we're gonna have a dog. Yeah! And he does all night! Here we go. Y'all dipping them stick wet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely navels. Everybody loves me navels. And a ball here, there, and a ball here, and pap. I've got mango, lovely mango. Yes, see, just great. There, three pound a pound. You have a taste before you buy. Three pound a pound, you great. Think just great. Three pound a pound. You have a taste. Ten there a pound. Ten there a pound. Here we go. They're lovely nails. Five pound a rock off the bottom there a pound. I've well, got Carly Malone coming down side and we're going to have a dog. Yeah! And he gets all night. And he gets all night. Here we go. Y'all dipping them sticks wet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely navels. Everybody loves me navels. And a ball here, there, and a ball here, and pat.
I'm making a film. Panorama and 60 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a musician by profession, by trade, by everything. What instruments do you play? Drums, guitar, some keyboards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hmm? What made you decide to start, start working for me? Because I used to supply shops with CDs because I produce, I'm a producer, I do my own products. Oh yeah. And I used to supply shops with CDs but I was getting hell to get my money so I decided to come and sell it myself. Uh -huh. So that's, that's what they call vertical integration? Yeah, something like that. And is it going well for you? Well, got his good days and he's got his cold days. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many days a week do you come here then? Well, at the moment I come three. Normal time I come five and Sunday I go somewhere else. Sometimes four. It depends. It depends. Because I've spent a lot of time in the recording studio. So some of the time I can't come. But otherwise today I do come. In the market? Sometimes. He's got his days. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that the days when you make it some money then? No, he's just got his days in general. Yeah. 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 Good to be outside. Yeah. Yeah. What about the other people here? What are they like? Some is okay, some is not okay. You just take, I take them as I find them. Yeah. If you are nice today, I'm nice today. If you're not nice today, I'm not nice today. Take it as it comes. I've got no animosity with anybody. Everybody does what they have to do and that's it. If you start at five o'clock and you keep going till five o'clock in the evening, that's a twelve hour day. We don't start at I don't start at five. No. Three o'clock. You start at three. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll sooner come out an hour early to get here than an hour late and sit in the traffic. Yeah, well at three o'clock you certainly miss the traffic, oh, I yeah. think. Well you go to market first, don't I? Yeah. Well you go to um Spittlefield. Yeah. And how many days are you at the market then? Four. Four days. Four days. That's a heavy workload, isn't it? Yeah, but we, we was doing five days before Christmas. Yeah. And how many years have you been doing this for? Oh, I suppose about... 45. 45 years. Oh. Don't you get tired of it? I'm getting a little bit tired of it now because it's a uh, di different sort of uh, atmosphere now. Like my my mum worked down here. Yeah. Um, 1938. Sorry. 60. 1938. Yeah. On a stop. When it was busy down here. So do you enjoy it? 
Oh yeah. Oh, to an extent, so like, you know what I mean? Even the weather don't make no difference to you. Yeah. Well, you're well dressed for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, do you know a lot of other people here? Um, Quite a few people. Quite is it like? Is it like a community? Does everybody look after everybody else? Oh, we, oh yeah. Like, you know, you you, you you ran the area where you are. They look after you know. Yeah. But it's not like um. East. It's not, it's not like East Enders, like you know. Say, so, yeah, look up the store line up the road for a bit. <laughs> 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 it was like that. It was terrible. Yeah. Well, I've never seen East Enders. What's it? What's the difference between this market and East Enders then? Oh, East Enders. Well, is it? Um, they also sort of work when they like and pack up when they like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not a properly. Like, I don't think they've done their own work properly, like you know. It would be a bit boring if you just did television with somebody sort of standing at a stall for 12 hours, wouldn't it? Yeah, but like, they don't, they don't, you never see him, like the one with the veg there, you never see him bring anything and put it on a stall. You never go to, a, you never see him walk away and say, like, I'll ride out around the shed or something. You don't get none of that. So you need, you need a script consultant who can tell them a bit about markets. You know, like um, the radio uh, show, yeah. they've got uh, yeah. Dumpty Dumpty Dumpty, um, what's it called, The Archers, where they have an agricultural co co um, consultant who tells them all about, they need to know about farming. Yeah. You need somebody like that for marketing. Oh yeah, they don't just stand here, you've got to like try and sell something, you got to, you know, but you get so many, now you're getting down here, you get so many casuals down here, it's unbelievable. Yeah. What's a casual? Casual is someone who, who comes up about who hasn't got a license and apply it and gets a license for that one day's work. Yeah. <laughs> Too much competition from them. Well, you don't get no competition in the veg game because it, it, it's not that they don't sort of do it. But well, do what's it, the matter then? They do everything else. Yeah. Well, what's what's wrong? I mean, well, they, 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 you know, um, a market barrel. Um, yeah. Not market, like Sainsbury's Baron. Not, yeah. the, not ones that go around the store. With the ones that had the stuff delivered on. Yeah. They come down here with them. It looks like someone opens the, the door up and they just go and get their Baron and just walk down here. And, and that's it. Get here, I'm honestly up for about three, up at three in the morning. My God, what what time do you go to bed? About ten o'clock, eleven o'clock at night. And how many t days a week do you do that? I do three days a week: Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What time do you get home? If we leave here at seven o'clock, I'm home at quarter past nine. Quarter past nine at night? Yeah. Where the heck do you live? No, we're in Nottinghamshire. You live in Nottinghamshire? Yeah. And you come all the way to London? Yeah. Isn't there a market in Nottingham? Yeah, but it's not very good because after the foot and mouth, it uh, destroyed the markets. Why, why do you come so early? So I can get set up and get the van out of the way so I can get in and out of the market. Yeah. The stall's called Bev's Homemade Cakes. Who's Bev? The wife. And she makes the cakes, does she? Yeah. She makes all the cakes. So it's a, family it's a family business between yep. the two of you? Yep. My goodness. It's a hard life, isn't it? It is. Do you find you tired at the end of the week because you hadn't had enough sleep? Well, yeah, but you get used to it, so it's, it's one of them things. Making a living, that's it. So, but at the end of the day, you have to do it. I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, no. That's was not always right. And they want blood from you here. Blood, blood, blood. I notice you've not got any blood oranges though. 
Think of the past. <laughs> think of the past. Yeah, that's not this one here, not aggravating. Yes, she could aggravate me now. And she, she'd complain about the price of cucumbers, wouldn't she? No. 60 pence hour, darling. No. And you haven't complained? Not here. All right, 70. <laughs> <laughs> Pink ladies. I've got a scarlet women, but no pink ladies. How would you like, love? That's like four pounds for two pounds. No, 50 pence per pound. It's just under. I'll let no, I'll have um, another two pounds. Another two pounds? Whatever you said it was. You've got company coming, having a party or what? You're greedy. No, you don't look that much. 260, 50 bob I do, darling, if you remember what that is. Can you remember what that is, 50 bob? Of course I can. I wish I could. That's what I earned when I first left school a week. 14 and 8 was my first week wage <laughs> and I lost them. Oh! I did, true that is, lost them. How did you lose your wages? I left them in a telephone, but I got so excited, told me mum, I said, mum, I got my first week's wage. Mine, I was 36 at the time. <laughs> That's true that I left them in the telephone box. <laughs> How long have you been coming to the market then? This market? Yeah. Uh, would you believe I was 16 when I first came here? So what's that? Uh, 104 years. 104 years. No. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 57 years I've been coming here. Wait, 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 wait! Come on! Yeah, all right, see, I'm being told off for the cafe there, so I must go. Will you excuse me? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. People are not as friendly. Um, just little things. That's nothing I could say major, but little things. All of that or half? Please. How long have you been at the market for? All my life. All your life? Yes. How parents, long? grandparents. Really? Yes. What are your grandparents called? Um, I had one set of parents called Minnie and George, and the other set of parents, grandparents, I beg your pardon, Millie, Millie and George. Millie? Yeah. And um, when did they start coming to the market? 1900, so that was right at the beginning because I think it only goes back about to 1880 or something. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, what did they have? What sort of store did they have? Fruit and veg. Your grandparents, presumably, they went to the wholesale market and picked up the fruit and vegetable. With a horse and cart, yes. With a horse and cart? My granddad did, yes. Yeah. What, what were their second names? What were their surnames? King and Sturgis. King and Sturgis. And they were both here in the market in nearly 100 years ago? Well, definitely the king. I'm not sure about the Sturgis, but definitely the king. Yeah. Definitely. I've got a picture of my dad and granddad here in 1903. Come on for the camera. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Everybody loves me now. Oh. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Here we go. How about your neighbours? Keep all your coughs. Keep all your coughs and colds at bay today. <laughs> Lovely neighbour. Ten for no, I'll give you the bag. Yeah. No navies today. Beautiful. 
How about navels? They're beautiful no, now. For my bit of vitamin C. Everybody loves me navel. Oh. Yeah. Lovely navel. <laughs> Lovely navel. Timber fam. Hello, kid. You all right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely navel, temperate pound. Beautiful navel's going temperate pound. One, two, can't have all figures. Can't have all figures. Three, two, greedy person. Pound. I oh, know. It's only human nature. I'll give you. Ten navels there, fam. Everybody loves me navels. Everybody loves me navels. Ten navels there, fam. Are you? You all right? Two. Four. Six. Eight. Nine. You can't beat a navel. And how long have you been coming here, Alan? Too long. Nearly 20 years. Nearly 20 years? Nearly 20. And, uh... I started it up. I, did, I used to work with my brother years ago down here. Yeah. And then uh, I applied for a pitch and uh, 20 years later, I'm still here. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. So what attracted you to market trading? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> At the time, the money, to be honest. It's always down to money, isn't it? Yeah, it's down to money. It was good money in the days. Go back 15, 20 years ago, it was what was called easy money. So what's happened? What's happened? What's happened? The whole world's changed, I think. It's just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just general market life. I think general market life just ceased. It's ceasing, not ceased. It's ceasing. 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 It's not. It's not happening. But it's all the big retail outlets. It's just you know, you go to Sainsbury's now. They sell from you know from a pound of tomatoes all the way up to like a car now. So what chance have you got? They want to get in everything. They want to. So sadly, the small people like us and everyone else down here don't really get much chance. But uh, Sainsbury's charges more, don't they? No, not really. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you look at the fruit stalls, I think the fruit's cheaper. Yeah, but fruit's half the price here that it is in Sainsbury. It's convenient, though, isn't it? You can walk under one roof and get everything. Do you know what I mean? If it's wet, windy and horrible, who wants to come down here? Well, huh? what, about, what about you? Do you like coming here? here? I still like being a market trader. Yeah, I yes, still enjoy it. What do you like about it? Uh, your freedom. Do what you want to do. You know, it's up to you what you take, I believe. You know, you're as good as what you are to make your own money. If you don't put any input into it, you don't get any returns. So, mind your back. Yeah. We get run out of What time in the morning do you have to get up to get here? Uh, half six. Half? I mean, the fruit boys are a different ball game. Yeah, they have to get up about four o'clock in the morning. I think earlier than that. Yeah. I think some of them are earlier than that. Not necessarily all of them, but... No, 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 I choose the easy game. How many days a week do you work? Four days. Yeah? Four days a week. And it's like a, what, a 10 hour day? Uh, oh no, a good 12 hour day. A 12 hour day? Yeah, it's a good 12. I'll be here till about, what, say 7 till about 7. The time what? I pull away, between anything between 6 and 7 o'clock. So 48 hours a week, That's I think that's the maximum week that you're allowed to work according to the European Directive. <laughs> Well, tell that to my wife and family and what they need. <laughs> if life was that easy, eh? You're not earning as good a living as you used to 20 years ago? Uh, no. No. You ever no. think of giving up and trying something else? What do you do when all you know is, Mark, you know, 
I'm, you know, I'm nearly 40. Who's going to employ a nearly 40 guy? No qualifications. What, what can I do? There isn't nothing I can do. I've looked. There is no jobs. You've got to start at the bottom. And for the money I earn here, I mean, I only work here one day a week. I work elsewhere. Uh, you can't, you can't get the wages. So I'm stuck. As yeah. they say. Stuck. Palace of Variety there. What was the Palace of Variety? Big Palace, like a variety place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a bit of Colton here. Colton here and um, uh, Dominion down the bottom, pictures. 
do that. No, it's so it's so low at now. Yeah, it's so low at now, mate. Yeah. Right, the pot. Not the market anymore. You might think it is, but it's not a market no more. Isn't it? Huh? There's not many of the old ones left down here now. My mother was the first license older than flower seller down here. First license since 1930, they changed it to license But there was fights over the fishes. So I've got to say that. How long have you been here? Too long. <laughs> what days do you come? Uh, Thursday and Saturday. Thursday and Saturday. Is there a lot of money in it or? Not this time of year though. Yeah. How, how many days a week do you do? Uh, five days. Five days hit at Walthamstow? Yeah, four to five days. I don't work on Fridays. No. Um, just for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I didn't even know it was open on Monday. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's not a local market. Uh, it's uh, normally uh, half, you know, half of the market open. What time in the morning do you have to get up? Um, um, it, seven, seven o'clock. So it's not too early? Uh, not too early. But Some when I used to do Sunday market, I used to walk up about half two in the morning to go queue up in the market. Which market did you go uh, to? I used to go Hackney Rick. Oh yeah? It's uh, a Yeah. Uh, but it was too tough. So, but if you work on Sundays, uh, so you're gonna, you have no time for the family. Yeah. Uh, you have to give some time to the family, is not it? So you used to do the Hackney Wick as well as five days a week here? Yeah. Oh, um, at that time I used to just uh, do uh, three days in this market. Because yeah. Uh, at that time, it was very hard to get a stall in this market. Yeah. It was when I started, it was uh, four years queue for the Thursday and seven, seven years queue for the Saturday. 
and about two years queue for the Friday. This it was very hard to get the stall in this market. Yeah. But now, about you know, the this stall is very slow. So this, well, that's uh, now you know you can get the stall when you apply today. You can get it in the next month. So I could set up a stall to um, uh, sell these videos, could I? Yeah. This is a long <laughs> empty casserole. Yeah. So why, what's changed over the years? Why is it so much easier to get a stall now? Because um, there's no business left, and a lot of you know people are going in different trades. So, you know how you say you know some if you go. You know, new, new setup. So it looks like you can make money in this market, but when, when you started, but after some time you feel you know you're not getting enough money. Are you but making less money than you were 12 years ago? No, no. It used to be very good. Not not my time. Probably the people said it was a very good market, but not now. I don't think so. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes the people say the whole day. This. The sale is about 30 pounds. So what you could think of what gonna be profit on it? Yeah. Nine pounds, ten pounds. So and your expenses to pay the patrol money, stall rent, council stall money. So sometimes it's look like no worth it. To, but I hope you know uh, I spent a lot time in this market so I got some of the regular customers yeah. that's why I don't want to leave this market I tried many markets uh, Woolwich and Hoxton market and uh, Batnell Green no market but it's, uh, it's not like this what's special about Walthamstow? Walthamstow is a uh, but I, uh, you know, what I feel is more friendly, more friendly. It's, uh, it's like the people around in this market, the people, you know, the customers, they are more friendly than the other market. It's better than doing that. When did you stop that? Huh? What's that? Oh, it's Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.